Good day. We're going to do some Vedic math division when we're dividing by numbers that are near a base number. And what I mean by base number is a 1 followed by any number of zeros. So 10 is a base number, 100 is a base number, 1000 is a base number, 10,000 is a base number. You can see, for example, here this number 97. This is close to base number 100, right? 97 is very close to 100. Okay, 996. You can see that's very close to base number 1,000. Okay, 996 is very close to 1,000. Okay, this number here, 8,799. That's very close to 10,000. So these are going to be when your your d divisor is close to base number. You know, here we have 135. Okay, that's close to base number 100. Okay, 125. That's close to one base number 100. 120, that's close to base number 100. So this could be when they're above a base number or below a base number. All right, so first problem, we're going to take this number here, divide by 97. Okay, 97, 97, that's close to base number 100. Okay, now to find the complement, okay, we're going to be using complement numbers. To find the complement of 97, okay, we're going to use our formula all from 9, last from 10. So 9 minus 9 is 0, 10 minus 7 is 3. So here's what we're going to be using uh, to do this, to do the work. Okay, so to set this up, to set up the problem, uh, first we're going to write here the dividend. Okay, we kind of write it like this. We could write this divisor 97. And we're going to write the complement of 97, which is 3, like so. Now we're working off of base number 100. Okay, so there's two zeros in the base. That means that from the right, we're going to go two digits in, and we're going to draw a line. Okay, that's going to separate the quotient. This is going to be the quotient. This is going to be the remainder. Okay, everything on this side is going to be the remainder. And this is how it works. It's fairly simple to do. Is First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring down this number 1. Okay, now we're going to take this number 1, multiply it by 3, 0, 3. 1 times 3. Okay, that gives us 3, 0, 3. Okay, we're going to write two digits at a time. So now what we do is we add vertically 1 and 0. 1 and 0 give us 1. Once again, we're going to take this number and multiply it by 3, 0, 3. Like so. Okay, then we're going to add vertically here 0, 3, and 0. That gives us 3. And we're going to take 3 times 0, 3. It's going to give us 0, 9. Remember, we're writing two digits at a time because we have two zeros in the base. All that's left to do at this point is kind of add these, these columns up. Whenever you get to this last column, when you're writing these answers, okay, you're stepping over to the right, one column over every time. When you get to this last column here, then you're, then you're done. So here's kind of how, how we're going to do. We're just going to simply add these vertically. Okay, 2 and 3, that give us 5. 3 and 9 give us 12. We're going to write like this, 12. Little 1, because this 1 here is going to carry over. So we get our answer, our quotient equals 113, our remainder equals 62. And here is our answer for the first problem. 113, remainder 62. All right, next problem. Taking this number here, dividing it by 996. Now this number 996 is close to base number 1,000. Okay, 996. Now what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to do our all from 9, last from 10 word formula to find the complement. And 9 minus 9, that give us 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. And 10 minus 6 is 4. So this is what we're going to be using here to do the, do the division work. So we set up our uh, dividend here. Okay, you could put this 996 here and the complement, 0, 0, 4. Okay, and once again, we're, we have uh, three zeros in the base here. So we're going to go three digits in from the right. We're going to draw a line. Okay, this is going to be our remainder. This is going to be our quotient. Take the first number, 4, bring it down. Okay, and then we're going to take 4 times 0, 0, 4. We're going to write three digits at a time. 4 times 0, 0, 4 give us 16. We're going to write like this, 0, 1, 6. Okay, three digits at a time. We're going to take 2, 2, and 0 give us 2. 
Okay, then we're going to take 2 times 0, 0, 004. 2 times 0, 0, 004 give us 0, 0, 008. Once again, we reached this last column here, so our work is done. And all that's left to do is kind of add these columns up. So 3 and 1 is 4. 0, 6 and 0 is 6. And 1 and 8 is 9. So we get our quotient as 42. Our remainder is 469. And here is our answer. All right, let's take this number here, divide it by 103. So we're going to write it out, 1057. Okay, 103. Now this time, uh, we're not going to use complements. What we're going to do is just kind of write how, how far above the base number 100 is this. So base number 100. Okay, this is positive 0, 03 away from 100. So we're going to write like this 0, 03. But now we're going to use negative numbers. So we write those bar numbers. Okay, and once again here we have two zeros in the base. So we're going to go two digits in from the right. Kind of draw a line here. This will be our remainder. This will be our quotient. Okay, bringing that first number down, number one. One times zero, three bar is going to give us zero, three bar. These are going to be negative numbers. Okay, zero and zero, that give us zero. Zero times zero, three bar is just going to be zero, zero. Okay, basically here we have a negative number, so 5 minus 3, that's 2, and 7 and 0 give us 7. So we get our quotient equals 10, our remainder equals 27, and here is our answer. Alright, this problem's a little bit more tricky. So what we're going to do here, we're going to set it up. Okay, our divisor 135. We're going to write like this, 3 bar, 5 bar. Okay, once again, this is close to base number 100. So we're going to go two digits in, draw our line. Okay, that's our remainder. Everything on the right is our remainder. Everything to the left is our quotient. Can we bring down this number 2? Two? 2. Now I'm going to kind of do this one at a time. So 2 times 3 bar give us 6 bar. Okay, then 2 times 5 bar give us 10 bar, which is basically negative 10. Okay, notice that I'm kind of squeezing in two digits here. Okay, 2 times 5 bar give us 10 bar. It's okay to write, you know, for this column, to write two digits here. So now we have 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. We write this as, as 2 bar. Okay, so now we have 2 bar times 3 bar. That gives us a positive 6. Okay, and then 2 bar times 5 bar give us a positive 10. Okay, adding these, 6 and 6 is 12 minus 10. 12 minus 10 give us a positive 2. Okay, now taking this 2, 2 times 3 bar, once again that's 6 bar. 2 times 5 bar, once again that's 10 bar. Okay, adding vertically here, 8 and 10 is 18, 18 minus 6, 18 minus 6 is 12. Okay, and then 9 minus 10 is a negative 1, we're going to write this 1 bar. So we kind of get our quotient like this, quotient equals 2, 2 bar, 2, remainder equals 12, 1 bar. Okay, now you got to remember that this here is your tens place. Okay, tens place. These are your units, your single digits. So to get the final answer, we got to remove these bar numbers. Now to remove the bar number, you're going to do your all from 9, last from 10. Uh, when you have a digit by itself, it's a last from 10. So to do this, we're going to subtract 1 from 2. That gives us 1. Okay, 10 minus 2 is 8. And then 2, so here we have our quotient, 182. Okay, remainder... Um, a remainder here. Okay, and once again, we're going to subtract 1. Subtract this one from 10. So it's going to be a remainder of 11, and then 10 minus 1 is 9. So here we have our answer quotient 182. 
uh, remainder 119. All right, so let's set it up here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, 125. Now we're gonna go ahead and write the difference in as negative numbers. And once again, working close to base number 100 means two digits in from the right, there's gonna be our remainder. So let's bring down this first number two. Okay, two times negative two, or two times two bar, it's gonna be four bar. Two times five bar, or two times negative five, give us negative 10, or well, we could just write 10 bar. You know, at this point, it's kind of a, it's okay to write in two digits in a single column, and you'll see when we get the answer that this works out. So we have four minus four. Remember, these are negative numbers. So four minus four give us zero. Okay, zero times two bar is just zero. Zero times five bar is zero. Okay, now adding vertically six minus ten. Remember, this is a negative number. 6 minus 10 give us negative 4. I'm going to write it like this, 4 bar. Okay, so now we have 4 bar or negative 4 times negative 2 give us a positive 8. Okay, and then 4 bar or negative 4 times negative 5 give us a positive 20. Okay, now adding up 8 and 8 give us 16. Okay, remember, this is our remainder here, and 9 and 20 give us 29. Okay, so what we kind of have to do is we have to kind of finish the answer here by getting rid of this bar number and then doing a carry here. So remember that these are your tens place, okay, and these are your single digit units. So 29, that means I can carry over this 2 and add it onto the 6. Because here are your units place, okay? We have 29, and basically 16 times 10, 160. Okay, so this 2 can carry over. So we have 204 bar, okay, this is our quotient. Remainder equals 189. Okay, now to get rid of this bar number here, we subtract 1 from 20, and do your all from 9, last from 10. Okay, so 1, 9, 10 minus 4 is 6. So here we have a quotient of 196 and a remainder of 189. Now you notice that 189 is bigger than the divisor of 125. So we have room for another 125 here. So let's subtract 125. 64, and that extra 125 kind of gets added on. So we get our final answer to the quotient is 197. Remainder 64. Okay, see so all I did there was I took this, we got a remainder 189, so that means there's room enough for another 125. So if I subtract one more, it means I have to add one more to the, the quotient here. So here's our final answer, 197, remainder 64. All right, this is just a short video on how to divide using Vedic math when it's above or below a base number. Just want to thank you for watching this short video. If you like these type of videos, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Leave a comment down below. Thank you.